This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. But we have to try to board the house up together. That's my point. Well, there's not going to be five or even ten. There's going to be twenty, thirty, maybe a hundred of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. This isn't a passing thing, honey. It, it's not like just a wing passing through. We've got to do something. And fast. Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So this project, um, teaming up with uh, Paul over at Diecast Graveyard, and he put out an invitation to turn any car into a hearse in honor of October and Halloween. So I've decided to take uh, one of these majorette limos, don't know which one, and turn it into a hearse. Um, I've got some big plans for it. It's going to be a lot of cutting and chopping and so, and JB Weld and everything. So I don't know, uh, what I'm in for. So, but whatever it is, it's going to be a challenge. So anyway, so turning the limos into a hearse. All right, stick around. All right, let's bring the limos on the maintenance floor. Like I said, I'm doing two of them. I'm going to piece them together the best I can. So here's the first one. One post. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You never know what you're going to find when you open these up. So it looks like this has working lights. Huh. Obviously, uh, the batteries are dead. I thought maybe it had something with that switch. Huh. Maybe I can save this. Wouldn't that be nice? I'll fix this. Hmm. Or I might just get rid of it. I don't know. First thing, let's take off this, that part. I've got plenty of batteries, so I wonder if I can save this and then, uh, huh. Wow, that's pretty cool. I have to investigate that. I might save that. And then here's the other one, so here's the body. Uh, the prep work is going to be in the body. That's going to be the hard part. That is going to... Take a little bit of time. I've got a couple weeks, so. And here's the other one. All comes apart. I've done limos before, so I kind of know how they all come apart. I'll definitely take out the doors. Maybe. Oh, yes, I have to take out the doors to do what I want to do. All right, so there they are. Got to see what I can come up with. Uh, all right, stick around. 
All right, here's an update. So I am just slowly extending the roof all the way to the back. And then I'm going to take one of these, or the part of this roof, and piece it together. So hopefully it'll all turn out good. All right, stick around. All right, here's an update. So I feel like I'm running an illegal chop shop here. Uh, hopefully the die cast sheriff ain't going to come over here and bust me. Anyway, here's the update on the hearse. So I got to do a little bit more fine tuning with this. So eventually I'm going to mount this to this. And we're going to make one big hearse. Obviously I'm going to uh, get rid of the sunroof. So I made this a little bit longer. So I can put this in the back like this. So this is going to be uh, extremely uh, challenging, but rewarding, hopefully when I'm done. Anyway, I'm going to put these in the stripper so I can at least uh, start the process of piecing everything together. All right, stick around. All right, here's an update on my limo to hearse. Um, I'm joining the two pieces together, so I had to... I had to chop that up to extend the roof from a limo to a hearse. So it's coming together. Um, yeah, got a lot to do. So, all right, stick around. All right, so here is the limo turned hearse. Uh, this is really uh, tedious, sanding it and putting putty on there, so I'm hoping when I put the primer on there, it'll cover all that ugliness. All right, stick around. All right, so I put a coat of primer on this, and I think I needed to sand the roof a little bit more smoother. So, I did. And let's go see where it leads me. All right, stick around. All right, so I got the hearse primered up. The roof came out fairly decent. I'm hoping by the time I put all the paint on it, it'll cover it up. So there's the back. I think it came out pretty good. All right, the hearse is coming along. All right. Stay tuned. All right, before we uh, take a look at the final reveal, and here's the pieces. So I'm going to save the body of the hearse for the final reveal. Uh, hopefully you'll be uh, pretty impressed. All right, stay tuned. All right, before we take a look at the final reveal of my hearse build, let's see what I started with. Obviously a pair of majorette limos. I'm only going to pick one of them for the hearse. And uh, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for the reveal for the Diecast Graveyard Invitational Turn Anything Into a Hearse. That's not already a hearse. So, uh, I knew when I started this project, it was going to be uh, a lot of firsts for me. Uh, first of all, I had to open up Matchbox Mark's Chop Shop, and uh, I had to do that illegally. Well, actually, not illegally. I just took two cars and combined them into one. Uh, I'm not going to try to sell them, so uh, I don't know how the VIN numbers work when you combine two cars. But anyway, hopefully the die cash sheriff won't... Uh, Come over to my house, arrest me. Anyway, this was really, really fun. So I took two majorette limousines and kind of combined them so I could make a make a hearse. So uh, I think it came out pretty well. So I sourced the decals on eBay. So I decided not only to make it a hearse, but make it a zombie outbreak response team. So got some handprints and and blood and painted the rims orange did the orange and black of course for Halloween uh, painted the interior brown and I took some clear film and spray painted it black for the windows 
but I want you to look in there. So let's take a look at the fine print. So there's some serial numbers on the side. And some blood splatches, some hand prints. And this here basically has the, the weight and just the specification, specifications of the hearse. And here's the back. I kind of blackened out the tail lights. Back window looks a little wonky, but uh, that's because, well, it's, it was hard joining two different castings. And then on the hood, zombie response team, kill or be killed. So there you have it. I think it came out pretty good. And it rolls really well. I had to actually uh, add some styrene blocks in the back of the interior. So uh, if I didn't, it would be uneven and the wheels wouldn't spin in the back. So I had to do a little bit of MacGyvering. So anyway, there it is. I appreciate Paul opening up uh, this invitational build. It was really fun. It was really a blast, actually. Anyway, I can't wait to check out the other builds, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one. That's all, folks.